about 70 to 75 percent of people respond to treatment. Of that group, about a third respond extremely well. You know, it, it, sometimes people come in and say, you know, my life has changed, a fog has lifted. It, it, it's really quite, as a, as a general psychiatrist originally, it is really quite um, remarkable how dramatic sometimes the effects can be. I've had people in tears because they're, they're, they've had such a, an amazing response to treatment, which persists. There's a group who get good response to treatment but have some problems with side effects and finding the right treatment, and that's probably about another third. And there's a third that have probably a good response but, but less marked. So you, you can predict that there will be a highly significant response to most forms of treatment. People without ADHD, this, this is a, something which is often used against the concept, people without ADHD um, often get a very different response to treatment, they just become agitated. Um, the stand, standard response to treatment is to calm down, to think more clearly, to be better focused, to be um, more at ease with things, less overwhelmed. And that is, that is the typical response. This is because the frontal lobe is being enhanced in its function over the rest of the brain. The frontal lobe acts in a very complicated way, but one of its, one of its features is to act almost like a, a conductor of an orchestra. And somebody with ADHD, it's very much like having a very, sometimes a very good orchestra with an awful conductor. It doesn't necessarily make a very good noise. When you actually enhance the function of the conductor, things start to come into line and you get a, a much clearer, better tone. Um, the other analogy I use regularly is, you know, a, a, an, an ineffective teacher in a, in a classroom will, will, will produce a lot of noise and a lot of activity, but not necessarily very much productivity. And the frontal lobe, which is underperforming in ADHD, acts very much like the teacher in a classroom. It organises, it, it, it channels productivity. The other thing to say is that, um, and I've got quite a few patients who, with ADHD, because they're, they're often quite creative people. They often have very, a very great proliferation of ideas. They're just not very good at getting it down and uh, producing it. Um, some people worry that their creativity will be swamped, and I've got quite a few patients who are musicians or painters or, or writers. It doesn't actually. What it, what it does is it just channels the creativity. It doesn't change their nature. It just It's very similar to, um, in some ways, to putting on a pair of spectacles. It actually focuses what you see rather than... It doesn't change what's there. So um, sponsor treatment can be extremely good. Um, not everybody responds, um, but by and large, the vast majority of people do get some positive or sometimes an extremely positive response to treatment.